Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 2C of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 61 and the question we're doing is 18. So it reads, a car starting from rest, accelerating uniformly, travels a distance d in the first n seconds of motion and a distance k in the next n seconds. Prove that k is equal to 3g. Now, to be honest, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody reading that goes, oh my god, I will not be able to do this. And to be honest, like why? Why would they say that? Well, because you have an n you have a k, you have a d. There are no numbers in it. And that, that scares a lot of people. And to be honest, there's absolutely no reason to be scared. Because they're the same as numbers. <laughs> you don't need to use numbers at all. And we'll see that now. So, what do we do? We'll start with you've asked. Just fill in the information you know. We know that the car starts at rest. We know that it accelerates uniformly, and I'm going to call that a. We know that the time is n seconds, so just say n. Uh, we know that it, a distance k. And what's d? Alright, sorry, excuse me. So it travels a distance d in the first n seconds. d in the first n seconds. So d in the first n seconds and k in the next 10 seconds. So I'll say u, v, a, s, t, this is part 2 and we'll talk about that in a second. Actually, I'll talk about that in a second. So let's fill out what we know. We'll say v is equal to u plus a, t. We're probably sick of using this form at this stage. So v is equal to 0 plus a times n. So this is a, n. Alright. Get the, the distance s is equal to u plus v over 2 times t is equal to 0 plus a n over 2 times n so that's a n squared over 2 like that. Do we know anything else? Not really. So we're going to go for we'll say the second part of the motion we're told that he travels a distance k in the next n seconds. So this is consecutively after part 1. So the final speed here is the initial speed up here. We know that it travels uh, another n seconds. And we know that it travels a distance k and the acceleration is the same. So what do we do? We repeat the process. V is equal to u plus a t is equal to a n plus a n is equal to 2 times a n. Is that correct? Yeah. That's correct. Next of all, we'll go for the distance. S is equal to u plus v over 2 times t. Like that. Is equal to a n plus 2 a n over 2 times n, 3a n over 2 times n, 3a n squared over 2, 3a n squared over 2. Alright. So we're asked to show that k is equal to 3 times d k is equal to 3 times d. Now look, we have here d in terms of a and n, and here we have k in terms of a and n. So what we should be able to do is show that though we will be able to manipulate them. So first of all, get, get a in terms of everything else. So we'll say a is equal to 2d over n squared, and we know that a over here is equal to 2k over 3n squared. Like that. So a and a. Sorry, you couldn't see that. Excuse me. So we go 2d over n squared is equal to 2k over 3n squared. What can we do? We can cancel the n's for, or the n squareds, for example, for the first start and the 2's. So we get d is equal to k over 3 or 3d is equal to k. Correct. That's what we're asked to find. So that was 
pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.